we are back again with another workflow automation video with vector shift in today's video i'll be showcasing how to automate lead generation lead generation is quite an ideal aspect for converting someone who's interested in your product or service it doesn't necessarily have to be for a product or service it could be for just anything and through this video i'll be showcasing how you can automate this whole process of attracting different prospects and converting these leads with the help of AI. Now for the people who do not know, Vectorshift is an ideal platform I've been using recently, and this is for AI workflow automations. It's a platform that hosts a non-code drag and drop UI, and this is to utilize generative AI to build AI search engines, different types of assistants, chatbots, as well as various automation. It's a platform where I automated multiple things in the past, and I truly recommend that you watch my videos on it. And this is where I automated email flows, created chatbots, and so many other things. So if you're interested in that, take a look at the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, let's get straight into the video and showcase how you can automate this lead generation chatbot. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Vectorshift once again, as we're going to be utilizing this platform to automate another type of flow which is lead generation this is something that i'm going to be doing within a couple of minutes and what you want to do first is create an account with vectorshift if you haven't already make sure you do so with your google account or with github or you can also sign up with your own email address so once you have done that we'll then proceed forward once you're here you want to click on the new button over here and you want to create your first pipeline this is where we're going to start from scratch but you can see that there's already templates that you can get started with where you can use these templates to automate other types of workflows for example your email google drive google docs slack as well as various other integrations you have other types of categories like finance where you can have an automation for competitive research reports you have productivity chatbots where you can automate assistance and so much more but in this case we're going to start off from scratch and create our own chatbot that will be automating lead generation so first things first we're going to start off by placing an input node and an output node this is quite essential for any workflow to be functional. So in this flow, we're basically going to create a chatbot that processes leads and we're going to have it fully automated with the help of Vectorshift. Now, this is going to be a chatbot that will have a knowledge base and we're basically going to feed it basic information to process all these different leads through. So what I've done is I went to the knowledge base tab and I have inputted a knowledge node. This is where I have infused my own knowledge or my own context. And to do so, it's quite easy. You can just simply click on create new knowledge base. You can give it a name, a description, tweak the advanced settings. And once you have created your base, you can then click on edit, edit knowledge base and you can add documents. Now, the cool thing is that you can add different types of documents. You can load different files. You can have various integrations, which is really cool. You can have it so that it syncs the information frequently on a minutely basis hourly daily weekly or even monthly you have different integrations with youtube archive wikipedia you have recursive urls which is able to have different types of scrapers process different web content which is really unique but in this case we have youtube videos that have been infused in to this knowledge base where i provided it my knowledge base or, or my sorry my patreon page i provided it also various other youtube links which is really cool. Now, one cool thing I want to highlight is that you can go click on add documents. You can then add integrations and then you can select and add your own integrations where you can sign into Google, sign into Notion, as well as these other different integrations that you can implement into your chatbot. This way you can process the information that is already prevalent within your account on various sorts of third-party integrations. This is a great way for you to have it so that your information is fluent with your chatbot from all different faucets. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself.
You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. So now that we have a base workflow ready, what we're going to be now doing is going over to the chat category and infusing this workflow with a data collector. This is where we're going to be processing and collecting the data from people who click on our chatbot or interact with our chatbot. This is a lead gatherer where we're going to be collecting the name, for example, or we're going to be collecting the email from our basic customer or whoever is landing on our chatbot. And this is where you can click on the settings tab and you can configure these settings where you can have it so that the chatbot is going to have or the data collector node is going to process whatever inquiries by itself and it's going to be able to auto generate questions with the help of the large language model in this case we're going to input another large language model node which will do it so that it can have more configurations where we can give it a prompt template so that it can process the information better so in this case we're going to be collecting the name as well as an email so a description i can give is the name of the user an example is my name or john so and then we can add another field where it collects the email so we can then type in email the email of user and then we can write bot at gmail.com and then we can just add the more fields if we need to collect other types of data fields but in this case we have a good collection that will be or like trying to receive the name as well as the email so now what we're going to be doing is heading over to the large language model node and having it so that the system prompt will have a better time collecting the data and configuring it. So basically what the data collector node is going to do is that every turn it will actually spin out the information that's collected and then have it processed through this large language model node so that it is able to process it better with the system prompt. So now I basically added an open AI large language model node where I give it a system prompt and I told it that you are a lead generation bot for World of AI, which is a YouTube channel for AI technologies. For every conversation, you follow the below instructions, where I give it a couple instructions that if you do not receive a name or an email, if you do not receive the name from the data collector or an email from the data collector, you will then need to ask them or the person who is interacting with the chatbot that what is your name or what is your email. And if you receive a name and an email, it then proceeds forward by stating that how can i help and this is where you then continue with the chatbot flow it's also going to have a chatbot memory and you can actually test this out to see how it basically functions by going to deploy as or you can just basically test it out to see how this pipeline runs we're going to head over to the chatbot tab and we're going to just type in hello to have it started up and then it's going to be asking me what is my name so we can see that it's going to ask what is my name based off of the data collector criteria that we gave it and i'm going to just simply type in john smith and or james smith and then click enter once i've done that it's going to then ask me for an email i believe so there we go it's going to then ask for our email so we're just going to provide it john at gmail.com and after we provide the email it's going to then respond with the question that we told it to respond with which is how can i help you and then this is where i can ask it what is world of ai and it's going to be able to provide the context based off the knowledge base reader note that we had provided previously so now that we have this flow fully functional we can then deploy everything so we can then have it deployed as a chatbot where we can then export this by giving it a name so we can do lead gen version one world of ai and then give it a description we can then save this and then what we can do is then configure with the functionalities where we can change the formatting of this chatbot as to wherever we export this widget to for example we can export it to a website so if you want different color schemes different logos you can then change the configure or like the functionalities of it as well as the styling you can export this or you can even open this app up to see if this is functional so we can even respond back to it by stating hi we can then provide it a name i can say my name is john and then it could even respond with the next question which is what is your email address and i can just write bot at gmail com so we have this fully functional flow that is going to be collecting the names as well as email address but you may be wondering where is the information gathering well if you are to go back to the main dashboards and you are to click on chatbots you can then see the chatbot that we have created which is lead gen version one world of ai we can then click on edit and once you have done that you can then go over to the manager i believe and you can 
go to the collected data and you're going to be able to see that name that we have inputted which was john and then the email address and this way you can export all the data download it you can take a look at the analytics you can even go back to the chatbot manager to see what sort of interactions have been made with the chatbot and this is how you can fully automate your own lead generation chatbot with vector shift now in my opinion this is something that you should definitely take a look at because it's something that will help you automate various sorts of workflows not just lead generation but it will help you in various ways so i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it this is definitely an amazing tool that i truly recommend that you take a look at make sure you follow me on the patreon page because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas